Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the channel of Shotgun Shogun and you probably looked at the clapping yesterday if you did see it and you would see that it was muted. Well, that's because I got a bunch of copyright strikes for the music in the background of the stream. So moving forward, if I do use stream content, I'm either going to have to remember to mute the music or I'm just going to have to commentate over it like this. So we are going to commentate this video. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what was going on, what my mindset was here. So we're up against Jay. Jinx. And Jinx is a, a person that I have fought multiple times before. Now, I know that Jinx cleaves, and it's always a really, really good fight. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to really just make sure that I didn't have to go up against Spectre Tenebria. So since I know that Jinx is going to cleave me, I'm going to pick Cerise right out of the gate so that I can at least stop that aspect there. Now, the other thing, too, with picking Cerise right out of the gate is that if they do try to go with an Oxlots build or a CDOM or anything like that. If you do land the Restrict, they are not going to be moving forward at all. Now, one of the things that I had stated before this match was that I was going to use ML Tywin because ML Tywin is actually pretty good and I like using ML Tywin. So I'm trying to get a draft here. Like, what do I want to bring? Usually I do bring Alencia to just hammer out some damage after the fact. So that's a typical pick for me. That's not usually something that is out of the out of the realm of possibilities for me to pick here but i did go with the zerato mostly because he went with the basar now he's either going to have to ban zerato or he's going to have to suffer through getting smacked with his unbuffable right back so i also go with maid and that's because my maid is on idols cheers so that means that if they are doing any cleave they're going to be pushing whoever my highest attack is forward now a lot of times i'll bring little queen charlotte or if it's alencia she'll have the highest um, in this case i believe it was champ zerato that was getting pushed to the front so as we go through typical cleave build I did block out the Flitica because I did get second choice. So a lot of times if you know a person's going to cleave and they immediately go Oxlots right out or uh, Oxlots, a Vildred right out the gate, you can kind of stop that uh, cleave by picking their cleave if you have anti-cleave built. So I was going to go with DJ Basar here because that would have probably made this a lot easier. But I, I said, you know what? Hey, we were going to do... ML Tywin, so let's do ML Tywin here. So I do ban out Arbiter Vildred because now that leaves them with just CDOM as their main source of DPS. And it's going to be a bit easier to clap a CDOM sometimes. Uh, that's also not true, and you'll see why here in a moment, uh, because CDOMs are typically pretty pretty crazy so we start out i obviously outspeed them because my cerise is uh super zoomy and i'm hoping that i get the restrict on pretty much everybody i'm not expecting to get restrict on the basar but we did so now the reason that this is good is because this stops c dom from getting her crit push forward and that means i have much much more time to deal with said celestial domino or Challenger Domino, Celestial Domino. Okay, so one of the reasons why I like ML Tywin, I have him on an Elbrus counterattack set, is because of things like this. You get the Provoke Taunt back. So not only, well, he didn't really do his job because he didn't cleanse the debuff because he resisted, even though he shouldn't have. Also, get ready for bonks because this made Chloe just pops off this entire fight. So we Flitica forward. Thankfully, we did get the bonk on the on the dizzy which really made that huge so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to reset the fcc um s3 this way can't get protection can't do much damage with that she's gonna have to hit somebody and try to provoke them now i do only have the skill nullifier on the last two but what i want to do here is i want to hit them with the speed down uh they already have most of them have speed down they all have speed down but i want the anti-heal um and i just wanted to do more damage because my uh, ML Tywin actually does quite a bit of damage. So I stunned Dominal here because, well, she's going to be the biggest threat. We need to take her out. I can manage, with this team, I can manage a dizzy FCC Basar with, like, very little problem. So, obviously, hitting 
the hit in the mid is going to push my Fwitika forward. This is going to be good because we can just kind of go through, rock this C Dom. Now, it does kind of suck here because we did get the defense break with the Elfelt um, artifact. However, we it's only one turn. But as you can see, we did get the bonk again on the Dizzy, which was super huge. We just, just literally, that's why I called this video the Bonkaholics. But as you can see right there, that was disgusting. Basar did transfer the defense break over to um, ML Tywin, and that C Dom just deleted him from the face of the world. Uh, so that kind of sucked, uh, but we do bring him back. And so that's not the end of the world for this. ML Tywin boy. Now, I'm pretty sure Basar is going to hit ML Tywin here. Uh, oh, no, he does do his S2, but that's okay, even though we didn't really cleanse anything. Thank you, ML Tywin, for, you know, not doing your thing. So we do this here because I want to make sure that my Cerise is staying alive, doing some damage, getting some restricts where she can. We did land the restrict again on to Dizzy right there. We get the double up from ML Tywin, ML Chloe to kill the C Dom. So now we're in a pretty good place right here. Now we're not in a perfect place, obviously, but we're in a pretty okay place. They could just still shut us down here, but they don't have sustain and we do. Um, if they were to like just kind of somehow lock my maid down, then maybe we would have a problem, but we don't really right now. So we're going to just focus on Dizzy. Once we get Dizzy out of the way, then we are 100% good. Now, I was hoping that I would be able to get a stun off with Cerise here, but we do uh, actually, yeah, no, we do get the stun off here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, we missed. That's right. Nope, never mind. I'm completely wrong. I know at some point I try to get the stun off and I believe I miss and it gives Dizzy an actual turn uh, and then we go from there. But we don't have anything right now on Basar that he can do. Kind of just waiting this out. We're sustaining. He's going to counter but right here, which that's really phenomenal because you just get that extra damage, right? And for some reason for me, ML Tywin just seems to just pop off constantly. Also, if you're hearing stuff in the background, that's my that's my Wyvern team. Let me turn that down. I didn't realize that that was uh, still going over there. Okay, so here we're like focusing a little bit on the Bassar because I want to make sure that the Bassar doesn't get off the strip um, because then that would that would be detrimental to my to my maid. So unfortunately, we did kind of kind of shift focus. Um, we should have probably just finished off the uh, the Dizzy and then left the strip for whatever. But thankfully, we did get the blind onto that Basar, so he missed pretty much everybody. And we counter him back, and we kill him. So the problem is now that we have a Dizzy with a bunch of souls that is going to double up. We're going to get hit with a Provoke here. I think it's on the... Yeah, we get hit for with a Provoke on the Cerise. We weren't going to be able to get to go with the Cerise anyways. I was hoping that we could. And then we would get the stun. However, watch this absolute, absolute clutch play from ML Tywin with the Provoke. So now they can't use the S2 to push us back. He does eat it right there. Um, and so from here, uh, we're going to cool down the FCC again, making sure that we do not get hit with that S3 and we get the defense break. We're going to get a bonk. We're going to go for some bonks here, I believe, on the FCC. We got a bonk on the FCC. I think we get a bonk on Dizzy here too. Nope, nope, we get the miss. And so this is where she's going to use the pushback. The problem is, is that we have skill nullifier, so no damage done. We'll end up coming back around without too much problem. We're going to stun Dizzy. This is, I think, where we miss. Yeah, yeah, this is where we miss the Dizzy. Um, we're going to strip, and I think we're going to take out FCC here. Oh, we'll bring people back to life. And we got the ML Tywin. We're going to clap at the Dizzy. That's going to kill her. Deceptively high damage with the attack buff on. 
If you build him for damage, he claps pretty, pretty hard. So now it's just a matter of doing enough damage to this FCC to get her down. Which we get the we get the bonks. The bonkaholics, that's what that's what Maid Chloe is doing. Clutch bonks here, clutch provokes. We're gonna try to finish it here with the with the S3 for showmanship. But we don't do enough. But we finish it off with the Flitica. So, there you go. That was that was the fight. And I will say that I I love fighting against Jinx because um Jinx is a really good cleaver, and I always have a real hard time going up against them. And it's fun because once you start to get to know a person's playstyle, your bands and your picks completely change depending on who you're up against like if i'm up against code i'm gonna ban different things than if i'm up against warbolt or jinx or um ten bird or you know people like that so it's like once you fight them enough times you kind of know what they're going so that's where you got to get the mind games in and like preemptively plan what it is that you're going to ban what they usually play and then go from there so anyways guys that's the re-upload with my commentary on the clappening ballaholics uh if you guys do like the commentary more um i can do that on some of the stream ones because obviously like i said i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to mute those because i do play music on there if you do want to watch the streams though i typically try to stream monday tuesday thursday and then sometimes fridays um over on twitch and it's the, the link should be down in the description now so if you want to head over there and check that out and for the clapping i'll catch you guys later as always if you haven't yet like fave subscribe uh share this out i always appreciate it and i'll catch you guys later take it easy homies peace Thank you.